um, let me just hand it over to our second guest speaker today, Professor Dr. Ina Schäfer from the Technical University of Braunschweig, and she's going to feature a master's, master's program today. Yes, thank you, Jasmine, for the, for the kind introduction, and thank you, everybody, for having me today. So um, it's my distinct pleasure to introduce to you the very brand new data science master program at U Braunschweig. And it's a fully English, fully international master's program. And on the first slide, you also see the Braunschweig Lion, which is in one of the central places of town. But first, to um, give you an idea where Braunschweig is. So that's about where Braunschweig is. It's between roughly between Hanover and Berlin, closely to Hanover. And it's on the ICE train line connecting Hanover and Berlin, roughly. Um, and then if we, if we zoom in, if that's Germany, and we, we had Dagendorf in the far right corner, um, then there we have Braunschweig. And if we zoom in a little bit closer, this is still Braunschweig. And to the south, we have the Harz Mountains, so if you like to go hiking or Nordic skiing in winter. And then we have Wolfsburg, which is just 30 kilometers north of Braunschweig, which is where Volkswagen headquarters is. And that's also a company that is very dominant in the region, of course, Braunschweig and Wolfsburg, but also Salzgitter and Pine around are a place where lots of automotive companies, tier ones are. And it's a very vibrant, buzzing um, region uh, when it comes to industry. And this is a view of Braunschweig from, from the top. And you can see that Braunschweig was a medieval city. Um, or, and, and that's why it still has its characteristics. So here you can see a few photos from Braunschweig. Um, let me see if I can find the pointer here. So this is actually part of the university. This is the House of Science. This is the Braunschweig Castle in the center of town. And you might be surprised to hear that it actually has a shopping center shopping center inside so it's only the front of the former castle this is a big party at the university at the old main building of the university um here we have the braunschweig lion again um this is part of the student center um this is part of a, a research building the, the uh, lower saxony automotive research center which is at the braunschweig research airport and that is the ritzy house in the center of town um, and this is also braunschweig so braunschweig has lots of nature lots of open space around um, you have the ochre so while the people in Degenhof, degendorf have the danube we have the ochre and there's a lot of fun on the water especially now when you can't do many other things um, a little bit about Braunschweig comparison when we look at other cities of a similar size. I didn't say that, but Braunschweig has about a quarter million uh, inhabitants. And you can see if we compare Braunschweig to other, other major German cities, um, then it's actually pretty low pricing when it comes to rents and costs of living. So it's actually very affordable. Mm -hmm. And if you look at um, what people earn, then actually Braunschweig or the Braunschweig region is, is very much in, um, in, in the top. Um, and, and you see that we have a good trade-off in Braunschweig between sort of the major industrial cities, but still reasonable pricing, cost of living, and um, lots of nature, very green and a very livable city. Um, Braunschweig is also in Europe's most active uh, research region. Um, and the technical Technische Universität Braunschweig has lots of connections to the research institutes around. So um, we have the German Aerospace Center at the airport. Uh, we have a Fraunhofer Center. Uh, we have now in Corona times, very important, if you have followed um, all the virologists on TV, many of them come from the Helmholtz Center for Infectious Diseases. Um, we have the um, Physikalisch Technische Bundesanstalt. This is actually where the atomic, the German atomic clock sits, so where German time is made, and they are the German National Institute for Measuring. Uh, we have institutes that look at plants and animal sciences, um, and you hopefully get an idea that Braunschweig is a very, very livable city in a vibrant research area, and of course we have lots of connections also to 
industry partners. So we have Volkswagen and Automotive. We have lots of tier one suppliers and engineering companies around that. But we also, we, we not only have Automotive, we also have Avionics at the Braunschweig's research airport together with the German Aerospace Center and also companies around that. And we have Siemens Mobility, which is about railways also in Braunschweig. So lots of opportunities to get uh, to find practical work while you study or to do an internship or to, to find a job after completing your study. Um, a little bit about the university itself. So here you see the old main building. Uh, Braunschweig is very much a campus university. It's all very condensed and very small. Uh, most things are walkable and you see that uh, most students just take their bike and there's es essentially everything in Braunschweig is reachable by bike in about 20 minutes. Um, Technische Universität Braunschweig has 84 study programs in total. Uh, we have about 18.5 18, 18 to 20,000 students um, in total at the moment, um, but it's still not a very big university compared to other universities of the TU9. Um, TU Braunschweig has 120 institutes in various areas, which I will talk about in a bit. Um, and we have about um, 2,300 researchers and 3,800 staff in total. Um, TU Braunschweig is one of the TU9, so one of the nine big technical universities in Germany. Um, and TU Braunschweig has six faculties, and you can already see the spectrum of different study programs um, and and subjects we offer. So we have the Karl Friedrich Gauss Fakultät, which is named by the famous German mathematician that is actually from Braunschweig. Um, and this includes mathematics, computer science, economics, and social sciences. And this is also where the data science program that I'm speaking today is housed. We have life sciences uh, with uh, biology, pharmacy, chemistry, biochemistry, and infection diseases. Then we have architecture, civil and environmental engineering. Uh, we have a large mechanical engineering faculty. Then we have electrical engineering and physics. And then we have also the Department for Humanities and Educational Sciences. Um, there are four main core research areas at, at TU Braunschweig, which you see on this slide. So we have mobility as you might have guessed already from all the connections and research centers in automotive, avionics, and rail. Then we have a research area in metrology. This is not meteorology, which, which is about the weather, but metrology is the science of measuring. And that is connected because we have the German physical technical um, office at, or agency at Braunschweig, which is where the, uh, where the German atomic clock sits. And then the next big core research area are infections and therapeutics together with the Helmholtz Center for Infectious Diseases. And then together with um, the architects, we have future cities as a fourth core research center of research area. And this is connected to the data science program, which I'm coming to in a second, because those are all application areas that you can choose if you decide to do your master's in data science at TU Braunschweig. So the data science program at TU Braunschweig is a foundational master program, um, which is have, has about one third um, foundations of mathematics, one third foundations of computer science, and then one third of the inno innovative application areas, which come from the core research areas and the full spectrum of all subjects at TU Braunschweig. It's all fully taught in English, so you don't need to bring German, uh, German certificate, but you only need to bring an English certificate, which is B2 or C1. Um, we offer a super flexible choice of models um, such that you can customize your study program depending on your previous degree, the bachelor degree you're bringing, and also your own interests. And in order to not leave you all alone, we have a mentoring concept where every student is assigned a mentor he or she can talk to um, in, during the whole time and get some guidance and advisory about the study program and which courses to take. The data science program is a small program for the moment because it's just starting, but we are planning to grow. So we are looking forward to all your applications. Um, our graduates as masters of data science uh, will 
all have the skills that come from computer science, so methods of data acquisition, data integration, and data management. They will have all the uh, necessary foundations from mathematics, so you, they can elect, select the data analysis methods, um, they can adapt them to the special requirements of um, the application, they can evaluate the analysis uh, methods and results, and they can also lead data projects and companies and manage design decisions. And of course, after your Masters of Data Science, you are also very welcome to do a PhD in data science, mathematics, or computer science, or one of the application areas of TU Braunschweig. Um, this gives you the basic structure of the data science program at TU Braunschweig. Uh, you see the three core areas, which are mathematics, computer science, and applications. Um, currently, we are offering the, the following application areas, which is life sciences, so biology, chemistry, and pharmacy. Then we offer medicine, we offer engineering and we offer image and signal processing. And of course you are um, allowed to mix and match and also pick something that is not on this list if that fits with your preferences. Um, the whole program also includes a ramp up course to bring everybody on speed. And I will say a bit about that on the next slide. It has a mandatory ethics module and some soft skills and it finishes with a master thesis that is usually um, the last of your four semesters of uh, study time. How do you get into this exciting program? So the typical entry requirements are bachelor in computer science or bachelor in mathematics or if you have done something adjacent to computer science and mathematics then also related bachelors are okay like physics or engineering or economics as long as you have enough previous knowledge in computer science or mathematics and admission to this data science program goes either via the mathematics track where you then choose the or where, where you then have to do the ramp up in computer science um, to get you up on speed for the foundational courses in computer science or via the computer science track. Um, and then you need to do a ramp up course in mathematics. We require, of course, your previous bachelor, your English language certificate, and we are accepting about the same as the uh, colleagues in Dagendorf. We will do an online admission interview uh, for the same reason as uh, my colleague has just pointed out that we just have a limited number of spaces and the application deadline is the 15th of July um, 2021 and I've posted the uh, link to our information page into the chat already so you can have a look and you also find contact details if you need uh, if you have more questions and um, this is actually a group of interns um, from IIT Mumbai who visited us uh, or who are visiting us every summer not last year and not this year because of Corona apparently, but this is my colleague Shando who has very, very good connections to the IIT in Mumbai. And we have lots of intern, interns coming over from India and they, they like it a lot in Braunschweig. And um, yeah, we would like to invite you to, to uh, enjoy that with us as well. Thanks a lot. <laughs>